It's a good thing I like the sound of my own voice, otherwise this power would be an absolute nightmare. I literally cannot stop talking, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the story of the first time I ever met Superman. It was back when I was a young reporter in... And then I said, you call that a goat, and we all fell about laughing. Anyway, I should probably stop talking about Superman and his secret creepy love of eating farm animals and start talking about this week's superpower. Some of you might have noticed from the fact that I literally cannot stop myself from talking that this week's power is only for the very chatty among you. That's right, it's the vocally challenging superpower of omnilingualism, which is just a great and phenomenally awesome power which... But I didn't even know how to get into a tractor, so everybody got laid that night. Anyway, back to the superpower of omnilingualism. It's basically the ability to speak any language instantly without having to learn it. It can be pretty useful if you find yourself at an international diplomatic function where you have to convince a large number of people from a vast spread of different countries that you are also an ambassador. I find myself in those situations a lot. I don't know if you do. They're really crazy, aren't they? They're just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, 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 see. Hi. Ja. Nobody even knew what Slovak for no was, so he ended up ODing or black tar heroin. Anyway, welcome back. Did you enjoy that last scene? Bet you didn't realise the last one was Klingon, did you? I tricked you because I am a hyper-intelligent and omnilingual super being whose power is also very useful if you happen to meet any aliens, as it will help you instinctively read, write and speak their language. It got me out of a jam the last time I met some unsavoury members of the Shi'ar Empire. I remember it like it was yesterday. I don't even know if they realised I was being sarcastic. It can be quite difficult to convey that sort of stuff in the written word, which may be why they returned to their fleet and ordered a planet destroyer spacecraft to attack Earth. That's probably going to happen in the next couple of days, so consider this your advance warning. If you don't spend this time saying goodbye to your loved ones or trying to evacuate the planet entirely and they do attack Earth, then it's pretty much entirely on you, really. I mean... Anyway, this is the part of the show where I talk to you about the drawbacks of the week's superpower. And as you may have noticed, this week's power has a pretty big one. If you are omnilingual, there is a good chance you will never, ever, ever be able to stop talking. Which can be really annoying for anyone you spend even a moderate amount of time with. And it can also negatively affect your own sanity, as you will be forced to talk to yourself literally all the time. Even when you're asleep. Take it from me, that can be a bit of a pain. And it can really affect your mental stability to the point where you can't even and have a cogent thought, let alone string together an entire sentence, but it's really fine, it's honestly fine. Sleeping's weird, isn't it? I wonder who invented it. Do you think when you blink during the day that it's your brain giving you advertisements for sleep so that you know what's coming at the end of the day? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? It's difficult enough to do that without a dwarf kicking you in the shin, so God only knows how I managed it. Another one of the potential drawbacks of omnilingualism is that it is possible to keep talking for so long that you can no longer breathe and die of asphyxiation. Asphyxiation is a funny word, isn't it? isn't it? wonder where it came from. Words are weird, guys. I don't know if you've all ever taken a moment to consider that. I can't take a moment to consider it personally because I can literally never, ever, ever stop talking. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, if I'm honest, but if you do think that you could handle it, then leave a comment in the section below telling me what you would do if you could never, ever, ever, ever stop talking, and it, your comment could be featured in the next Alter Ego video blog. And until next time, stay <laughs> Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video then click down there to subscribe. You can also click down there to watch last week's episode and don't forget to like and favourite if you want the series to keep going.